Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. and happy Labor Day. Today has been a great day so far, a little on the cooler side, but at least we're not dealing with any rain as of right now. But we'll keep the partly cloudy skies for today and a couple showers and some storms will be possible later on tonight. And it looks like that rain will carry through Tuesday, Wednesday, and it looks like for the rest of the work week there. Dew points are going to be pretty spectacular, mid to upper 40s over the next couple of days. We had dew points near 70 yesterday, put that into perspective. So yes, it's going to be feeling a lot nicer out there. Future track does show we'll keep the cloud cover throughout most of the day here. I'd suggest partly cloudy skies, maybe peaks of sunshine here or there, but not expecting it to be a completely sunny day. However, it's looking like after 6 o'clock, we're going to start to get more cloud cover. That's ahead of these showers and thunderstorms. These will become more widespread as we head into the latter parts of the evening into the overnight hours. Now, we're not expecting a widespread severe event, but some of these showers and storms, they could become strong to maybe severe. Again, one or two could become severe with hail, a potential threat, but expecting most of these to stay strong, and that's pretty much it there. That rain will continue, especially overnight into Tuesday morning there. Tuesday is going to be a raw and chilly day. Temperatures well into the 50s, mostly cloudy skies, and again, lots and lots of rain. Well, today's high temperatures, mid to upper 60s here, low 70s further south there. Keep those party cloudy skies, breezy conditions at times with winds out of the north gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Again, those showers and thunderstorms will move in later on this evening into the overnight hours. It'll still be breezy out there. Low temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s, so another chilly evening ahead. City by city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City all receiving rain over the next couple of days and all getting that cool fall-like temperatures there. Those fall-like temperatures and the rain hangs on through most of the work week there. Rain finally ending by late Saturday night. Temperatures rebounding back to the low 70s with some sunshine by Sunday there. Looks like we'll hang on to the 70s as we start the following work week with mostly dry conditions.